So now what we need to do is that we need to start working on the user interface. So in the index.ejs, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create here a dev that's going to contain everything. It's going to work as a container. So I'm going to create here a dev. And this dev, I'm going to give this dev a class called container. So I'm going to say here dev, and then I'm going to say class, class, container, container. And this class is a bootstrap class that's going to make everything look amazing. It's it's going to make sure that everything is going to be inside this dev. Nothing is going to get out of this dev. So you don't have to worry about the design too much. The, the next thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to display here, I'm going to say h1, and I'm going to display a message here that says uh, chat bot app. And uh, I'm going to give this h1 a class called text center, which is also a bootstrap class that's going to center the text. Uh, next, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to work on the user interface, but before uh, I'm going to continue working on the user interface, but before I do so, let me run my project in the browser to see what's going on. So I'm going to open up the terminal and then I'm going to run my project. And then I'm going to head on over to the browser. And as you can see here, there is nothing. Uh, nothing is being displayed and the reason is because I need to push I need to push this container a little bit so I'm gonna say here style and then the style is gonna be margin margin top 50 px because I want to push it a little let me refresh now as you can see it's gonna say here chat bot and uh, instead of using h h1 I'm gonna say h3 because I don't want it to be too big I want this to be a little small let me refresh as you can see, this is smaller now. And I'm going to increase the padding a little. I'm going to increase the margin a little. I'm going to say 60 instead of 50. I'm going to say 60. And let me refresh. And now the, the margin is, is now uh, 60. Let's now work on the user interface. And the user interface is going to be like this. First, I'm going to have here a big box that's going to contain the messages between me and the chatbot. And uh, also a, a um, input to let me enter messages and a button to send the messages to the chatbot. So here below this h3, I'm going to create here dev. And then I'm going to give this dev a class called media, which is also a bootstrap class. And I'm going to change a few things a few things uh, about the about the design of this dev first i'm going to say here style and the style is going to be background color white smoke which is a color that's very very close to the uh, white color next i'm going to display an image here and that image is going to represent the the uh, chatbot so it's going to be here an icon that's going to represent the chatbot and uh, for this image for now I'm just going to keep this image source empty but I'm going to get an image later and uh, the next thing that I need to do with this image is that I'm going to give it some classes and and uh, styles so first of all I'm going to say round circle rounded circle which is a bootstrap class and I'm going to say uh, float left because I want to display it on the left side and uh, I'm going to also say image thumbnail image thumbnail because I want it to be small I want this image to be small and I also want the width the width is going to be the width of this image I'm going to say width width is going to be 75 px and here I'm going to say alternative and it's just going to be null just nothing next I'm going to let me say first and let me refresh nothing of course is going to be displayed because the image is empty but here the image is empty the image uh, is not be, being displayed because there is no image but the 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 container uh, exists as you can see it's here next what I'm going to do is that I'm going to display the um, the area where the the uh, 
the area just below this image here this image next and below to this image so I'm gonna say here dev and then this dev is gonna have a class called class called media body and media body and, and what this class does is that this class comes with the media to to represent the body of the dev it's gonna just represent the body of the dev and then inside that body I'm gonna say h5 and for this h5 I'm gonna say here chatbot chat bot and I'm gonna give it also a uh, style I'm gonna say style margin 10 margin 10 px and also a span the reason why I want a span is because I want to display here a message that lets the, lets the user know that the chatbot is online and you can and the 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 uh, the user can contact or uh, uh, interact with the chatbot. So I'm going to say here span, and I'm going to give it here style. I'm going to say style, and the style first I'm going to say margin left. So the margin left is going to be 10px, and the color I'm going to say color. The color is going to be green because this is going to be RGB. This is going to display online to let the user know that the chatbot is online. So I'm going to say uh, 32, 199 and 32 32 199 and 32 which is a green color finally here I'm gonna say online let me now save and let's head on over to the browser to test so let me head on over to the browser and refresh and as you can see here it's gonna say chatbot and it's gonna say online so it looks amazing and and the only thing that remains is the image that it's that's going to represent the chatbot